Hello, hello, this is Mr. K's, and this is 23.3C. 23.3C. We see a Frenchman by the name of Napoleon Bonaparte taking over, controlling France, and solving some of the problems of France inside and outside. The last thing we saw is Napoleon crowning himself emperor and making peace with the Roman Catholic Church. Now we're going to see him control his empire. Napoleon creates an empire. Outside of France, um, France had tried to uh, gain territories. In 1789, when the ideas of the French Revolution had reached the planters, planters in Saint-Dominique, it is a uh, Caribbean island, demanded rights. These planters, these French planters, planters in Saint-Dominique demanded rights. Slaves demanded freedom. Saint-Dominique had planters demanding more rights than uh, they were given um, outside of France. And the slaves are going to demand freedom. Here we go. A civil war led by Toussaint Louverture Toussaint Louverture, he is a Haitian slave, or a, a, a black slave, seized control. He seized control. Napoleon fails in stopping the revolution. So on a Caribbean island of Saint-Dominique, planters were demanding freedom, or demanding more rights. Slaves demanded freedom. And a civil war ensues in which the black slaves, who had come over from Africa, working the sugar cane fields, seized control. Toussaint led this slave revolt. Napoleon fails in stopping the rebellion. Now, the French defeat in Saint-Dominique led France to sell New Orleans and the Louisiana Territory to the United States for 15 million. As you can figure out, Saint-Dominique becomes Haiti. They renamed it Haiti. So the United States bought this land for $15 million. Napoleon was going to lose the land anyway. He figured he might as well make some cash on it. He did not want to lose it to his enemies. The United States was a friend at that time. And so they sold it to the United States for $15 million. So Napoleon gained money, and he punished the British in selling that land to the young United States. Okay, conquering Europe. Napoleon, as a result, had to abandon his imperial ambitions in the New World. He had to abandon his imperial ambitions in the New World because Haiti was lost, and he sold Louisiana, and he turned his attention to Europe. He turned his attention to Europe, and he controlled the Netherlands and parts of Italy. He controlled the Netherlands and parts of Italy. All right. Fearful of his ambitions, Britain persuaded Russia, Austria, and Sweden to join a third coalition against France. These other nations now that were fearful of Napoleon's ambitions, Britain persuaded Russia, Austria, and Sweden to join a third coalition against France. After the Battle of Austerlitz in Austria, after the Battle of Austerlitz, Napoleon, who won this battle, issues a proclamation expressing pride in his troops. He's saying, boys, you did a good job. You did a good job. We're on the rise. And Napoleon now has uh, designs on the rest of Europe. Eventually, the rulers of Austria, Prussia, and Russia all signed peace treaties with Napoleon. Eventually, the rulers of Austria, Prussia, and Russia all signed peace treaties with Napoleon because he was gaining land. In 1805, 
Napoleon tried to remove the threat of the British Navy. He tried to remove the threat of the British Navy. We will see next time the Battle of Trafalgar, the Battle of Trafalgar, and the results of that. Does it end well for Napoleon or not? This is Mr. K's with 23.3C, 23.3C. See you down the road.